This is Lake Medina, located 40 miles northwest of San Antonio in Bandera and Medina counties. It is or was a recreation and fishing lake noted for the good times spent by many on weekends and holidays. Until the drought that has lasted for several years hit Texas. Fishing, boating, swimming, or hiking around the lake was great. A place to unwind before the rigors of the next week set in and you had to go back to work on Monday. Also, many bought homes, started businesses, or came to the lake just to get away. Medina Lake is home to six different species of fish. You could catch largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, catfish, crappie, white bass, and the hybrid striped bass. The maximum depth of the lake was 152 feet with 5,426 surface acres. Medina Dam was built and the lake was impounded in 1913. Now, 101 years later, it faces desolation, destruction, desertion, and is virtually a ghost town. Before we get all wrapped up in the drought of Texas, let's take a look at how it all began. Going back to 1912 to 1913, Medina Dam was completed in 1913 in a privately financed project creating the lake to supply irrigation, water for local agricultural use. Lake Medina is in the northeastern Medina County and southeastern Bandera County, about 40 miles northwest of San Antonio. It is a crescent-shaped reservoir running west to east. It is 18 miles long and 3 miles wide at its broadest point. It is contained by the Medina Dam at the lake's south end. At the time of the dam's construction, it was the largest concrete dam in the country and the fourth largest dam overall. The dam is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The lake is fed by and discharges back into the Medina River and serves both recreational and irrigation uses. Communities located along the lake are Miko, Lake Medina Shores, and Lake Hills. The historic Medina Dam was completed in 1912 and Medina Lake was filled by 1913. The Medina Lake Dam was designated a state historical landmark in 1976 by the Texas Historical Commission and was entered into the National Register of Historic Places at that time. The dam was also recognized as a civil engineering landmark in 1991 by the American Civil Engineering Society and a plaque with that designation sits on the dam alongside the Historical Commission plaque. Today, the area that is known as Mormon's Bluff was the site of one of the first Mormon colonies in Texas. A third plaque sits on the dam recognizing this settlement. The surrounding hills are composed of mostly fractured karst limestone covered in ash juniper, oak, persimmon, black walnut, and occasionally madrona trees. Towering cypress grows near the Medina River and its tributaries. Medina Lake, combined with the Diversion Lake below the main dam, create the single largest recharge source for the entire Edwards Aquifer. Medina Lake is no stranger to droughts and low water crisis that hit South Texas from time to time. In 1948, the lake was reduced to a mere river. But in no time and lots of rainfall, it returned to its glory of being a recreational lake. On August 25th, 2012, the Medina Lake Preservation Society hosted a centennial celebration for Medina Lake Dam.
Now, the lake rests at its lowest level in its 100-year history. This home used to have access to the lake from the front yard. Now rock climbing skills are needed just to reach the boat. Boat houses and piers now rest on dry land. This video was taken on October 1st, 2014. The earth and nature are virtually reclaiming the land with vegetation and the cattle are grazing on what used to be underwater. Today, the buzzards are now the inhabitants of Medina Dam. Access to the walkway has been closed with a steel gate, fencing, and barbed wire.